deserts. They feel alien, almost like another planet. But have you ever stopped to wonder, how do deserts form? These extreme landscapes are not just random patches of dry land. They're created by powerful global forces that reshape our world. Prepare to journey to Earth's driest places and uncover the surprising secrets behind their parched existence. Let's begin with high pressure, the atmospheric squeeze. The most common way deserts form is due to global wind patterns. Around 30 degrees north and south of the equator, air that has risen at the equator begins to cool and sink. This sinking air creates areas of high pressure. High pressure systems bring clear skies and block clouds from forming. Without clouds, there's no rain and continuous sunshine heats the ground intensely. Think of a giant invisible hand pushing down on the atmosphere, drying everything out below. When mountains block the rain, rain shadow deserts. Some deserts form because they are located on the leeward side of large mountain ranges. As moist air from the ocean blows towards a mountain, it is forced upwards. As it rises, it cools, and the moisture condenses, falling as rain or snow on the windward side of the mountain. By the time the air crosses over the mountain, it has lost most of its moisture, becoming dry. As this dry air descends on the other side, it warms up, pulling even more moisture from the land. This creates a rain shadow desert. The Atacama Desert in South America is a prime example. Far from the ocean continental interior deserts, Distance from the ocean can also create deserts. Areas deep within large continents are often far from any major moisture source. Without moisture-rich winds, these central areas simply do not receive enough rainfall to support lush vegetation. The Gobi Desert in Asia is a vast interior desert, far removed from ocean influences. Some deserts, surprisingly, lie right next to oceans. This happens due to cold ocean currents. When cold currents flow along a coastline, they cool the air above them. This cool air is very stable, meaning it does not rise much. Without rising air, clouds do not form, and therefore, no rain falls. Even though there is an ocean nearby, the cool, stable air prevents moisture from being released onto the land. The Namib Desert in Africa is an example, often shrouded in fog but receiving very little rain. Sometimes, deserts expand due to a combination of natural processes and human activities like deforestation or overgrazing. This process is called desertification. It shows that while deserts form naturally through powerful forces, human actions can also contribute to their growth. So, how do deserts form? They are born from sinking air, mountains blocking rain, vast distances from oceans, or cold ocean currents. These powerful natural forces work together to create Earth's most extreme and fascinating dry landscapes.